Let's get to do some trolling. Ha <laughs> uh, uh, this is freaking hilarious. Uh, let's see. Yeah, change one thing now. Uh, uh, do, do. Which one did I have earlier? I had something. I can't remember which one I was using. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Any of my friends on? No. <clears throat> hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to be doing a really crazy, fun build in uh, Onslaught. Um, let's go right in and do it. Let's do this. We're going to be running Night Stalker, Deadfall. Abilities are Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Snare Bomb, and Suppressor. Aspects, Stylus Executioner, Vanishing Step. Fragments, Echo of Instability, Echo of Expulsion, Echo of Vigilance, Echo of Obscurity. Okay, for the Onslaught Troll, we're going to be using uh, Last Word, Blinding Aids. For the Heavy, we're going to be using Follow the Guillotine with Chain Reaction and Destabilizing Rounds. Whenever we pop for a super, we're going to throw our grenade, working up instant access to Volatile Total Rounds after we get a kill. And then we're going to come in with the damage while the super is active, and we're going to clear out ads. Okay, armor mods are. Hands on and ashes asses gain super energy on both grenade and melee kills. Kinetic loader for uh, faster speed for re reloading. Charged up, increasing in the damage and abilities. Uh, whenever I get a, a surge, it increases uh, my, my bonus damage. So whenever I have my surges active, I will switch to lucky pants. That way, I increase. Uh, faster uh, reload speed and accuracy and bonus damage. Uh, whenever uh, I'm close to an ad, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to finish somebody. As long as I have three armor charges or more, I'm going to finish somebody and I'm going to get that 100% overshow for like five seconds. Um, Stylus Execution or defeating the weakened, suppressed, or volatile target automatically grants me invisibility and true step. Or true uh, sight, sorry. Uh, dodging makes me invisible. Whenever I dodge next to somebody else, I get my melee ability back. This suppresses. It also suppresses and stuns over those champions, okay? Uh, smoke Bomb basically it weakens. 
uh, whenever uh, Echo of Vigilance, whenever my shields are actually destroyed, and as long as I get a kill, I'll get to fight a second number shield. Finishers. Uh, whenever I finish somebody, uh, not only am I getting an over shield, but I'm also getting in getting invisibility. Uh, echo of expulsion. Uh, whenever I get a void ability from a blow, uh, it causes the targets to explode. And whenever I get a grenade kill, basically, uh, I'm activating volatile rounds to my void weapons. When when that is active, we're gonna be using the guillotine because I have chain reaction and, and destabilizing rounds. Alright guys, without further ado, this is uh, Last Word 1350, Onslaught, uh, Trolling, Destiny 2, End of the Light. Sit back, Guardians, grab a cup of tea, some popcorn, some pizza, some snacks, Cracker Jack, Patty Whack, give the dog a bone, this Onslaught is coming home. And we're gonna launch right into uh, Vostick, guys, and then away we go. So uh, while we're waiting, basically uh, we're waiting for our super. So now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take this off. We're gonna put on two kinetic surges, and we're gonna put on stacks on stacks, and we're gonna switch to a uh, lucky pants. That way we can get that bonus damage going on. I was doing this yesterday in uh, Onslaught and players were getting mad because I was using them. Uh, uh, last word. Oh well. <laughs> okay, we got that armor charge. I see. Do you see armor charge? <laughs> I love it. To be able to actually throw an onslaught with the last word, it, it's pretty amazing. Nope. 
I love it. All right, so so now that we got our our uh, super, we're just gonna switch back to Orpheus rigs. We're gonna gain that little armor charge going on. As you guys can see, I'm not wearing no more resistant mods. This is in my build right here. Okay, while I'm waiting for uh, my super to get back, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get these guys right here. Okay, now that I got my uh, my super ready, we're gonna go come back to Orpheus Rig. Gotta love the troll. I didn't really have to use my suppressor, but I, I did it anyway. Hey, buddy. Get up there. Up. Good boy. Alright, so now that I have my... My super, I'm just gonna use, um... My super whenever they come in. Whenever, basically, the whole point is like whenever I, I don't have my super, I just put on a switch to uh, Lucky Pants for that bonus damage. Constantly uh, getting volatile, uh, constantly chaining and blinding uh, adds um, really strong. Okay. 
Also, uh, like whenever I want to use my, um, what do you call it? Hold on, hold on. Whenever I want to use my super, I'll just use Orpheus Rig. Whenever I don't have my super, I'll just go ahead and use, uh, Um, a lucky pants. Hey, no more ads, so switching out the lucky pants. For damage. I mean, all in all, it's it's really not that bad. All the ads fell off the map. What the heck? Ah. That's weird that I didn't get my dodging ability back. It's always fun to do something that you never ever uh, did before. It's classic. The classic demo. Alright, so while I'm waiting for my, uh, my super to get back, I'm just gonna use this for uh, bonus damage. So uh, the whole trick is switching in, uh, back and forth. Uh, Lucky Pants, when I have my super, I pop uh, Orpheus Red to get my super back. And whenever I don't have it, I could use uh, Lucky Pants for damage. Whenever I get a grenade kill, I make them instantly volatile. Chaining reaction, because I do have chain reaction on my Fallen Guillotine. Uh, whenever uh, the ad is near the, uh, to be finished, all I have to do is finish him and... I gain an overshield automatically, and uh, I gain volatile uh, runs to my bow of weapons. Pretty close to my super. 
Uh, now I just switch over. It looks like he's gonna pop a super, so there's no actually you know so that's how you're using it. So now that I've finished him, um, I'm able to go in this. What the heck? Good deal, good deal. So even though I'm not wearing no resistant mods, it's really not that bad. It's actually pretty chill and uh, kick back. Last word is, uh, pretty chill.
Oh, that one guy just Spanish. Oh, also, I was going to tell you guys, so, like, whenever uh, you need, like, uh, like heavy back, uh, it's always good to have uh, three uh, reserves for your chest. That way you're, you're gaining uh, more ammo in the process. So if I put on this, it should take me into the 68, I believe. There we go. Let me come back here. This little dude is not liking what I have. Gotta chill, bro. Gotta relax. So even though uh, I have my super, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to Lucky Pants. That way I get the extra uh, damage in. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, anything's gonna happen. So while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna do my uh, armor charge. I'm gonna pop my super over here. Get that little uh, grenade kill, which is gonna pop proc uh, volatile rounds to my void weapons. The whole trick is uh, to like whenever there's orbs on the ground, you always want to stay consistent with the uh, armor charge. That way you get in that bonus damage uh, from uh, Lucky Pants. But since I have my super, um, I'm probably just going to pop my super right here. Get that grenade kill, proc ball left all rounds. Blind them. Whenever I weaken, suppress, or make them volatile, I gain true sight. It's really good. Whenever I get my shields broken, guys, uh, it's really strong. Uh, basically, whenever you get your shields broken, you have access to uh, full health and 100% uh, over shield for five seconds. Uh, whenever my shields are busted, I use uh, Echo of Vigilance. I'm like literally almost impossible to kill. With the build that I have uh, set up, it's really hard uh, to get killed. Alright. So we're just gonna pop our super. Hopefully, we can get a grenade kill on the process. Okay. Activated our true sight. Now we're just gonna, uh, while well, these guys are going ham on the boss, because my job is just, uh, you know, just going around making, making sure there's no ads around. Whenever I dodge, I get my invisibility back. I get my melee ability back. So, in the meanwhile, while I'm waiting, uh, I'll just go ahead and switch to uh, Lucky Pants because I'll, I'll gain that bonus damage. Now he's weakened. I gain 3850 on uh, the boss. 
Or is it 60, I believe? So if I uh, wait for that to come down here, what I could do is as soon as they come down here, I'll throw a suppressed grenade. I go on here. Okay, I'm gonna always get my armor charge up and go on. Okay, now what now we can go back here. Okay, I'm just gonna come near there, that's guy right here. Looks like he's coming over here. Uh, bad. Uh, bonus damage. Uh, with, uh, Lucky Pants, uh, and how you know you proc in uh, Lucky Pants bonus damage, you'll see right above his super, it'll say out of luck. That's how you know uh, you correctly pro uh, proc the uh, Lucky Pants. So if you guys want to know how to proc it, basically illegally mod at holster, when uh, you ready fully loaded hand cannon and that deals kinetic damage. Uh, try to match as your subclass. Basically, it is kinetic, so that's going to match my subclass either way. Each hit from the hand cannon increases its damage at the next short time against the combatants. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping them. Provides a small benefit to airborne of hand cannons while buff is active. So all I have to do is just swap it, you know, and then I'll automatically have it propped okay so did you see how you guys see how I just swap my weapons so as soon as uh, so now now you know how to get it propped all you have to do is swap your weapons come back here and as soon as it's propped it'll say illegally uh, modded holster as soon as it goes away then you'll see the thing and that says out of luck for nine seconds that's how you know you correctly uh, did it right. But since I already have um, my super active, I'm just going to switch to Orpheus. It's always good to make orbs for your uh, teammates. Whenever the ads get closer, what I'll do is I'll tether. As soon as they get closer. I'll throw everything I got on them. I get that grenade kill. I'm procking uh, volatile rounds to my boy weapons. It's uh, really good to have. If we're, um, I almost have my super uh, back, so I, I I get it back really quick. Uh, basically, when you get a kill with the uh, um, a suppressor grenade, it procs. Uh, um, volatile rounds to avoid weapons. Whenever you do that, then uh, you could just switch to your heavy and clear out the ads because you do have access to uh, volatile rounds. Whenever I uh, use my finisher, I gain invisibility. And we're just gonna pop up the little tether right here. Automatically proc my tutor site. Okay.
So now that I'm waiting for uh, my super to get back, I'm just gonna go ahead and Now that I have my my stuff brought for my uh Yeah, it's always good to kill these uh guys. Sky burners. I think I killed all the sky burners. So to get uh, out of luck, always procking, you always want to switch out your weapon. Once you switch out your weapon, then you have a thing called out of luck come up, and then and that's how you get that bonus damage. So until then, I'll just use lucky pants, lucky pants until I get my super. Once I get my super, I'm gonna switch to or fizz rig. Okay, now that I'm winning for my super, I just switch back to Lucky Pants. Suppressor will stun him. Oh, well, he is supposed to be stunned on that one. Hey, good job. I mean, even in the normal, I'm not. Hey, what's up, my look? Uh, even though I'm not wearing and uh, resisting them mods, um, I I still feel pretty strong. Now I proc to your site.
I don't have a snare bomb, but the easiest way to get back is all you have to do is dodge nearby a combatant and you'll get your uh, snare bomb back. Okay. Can upgrade it does. Make sure my Orpheus rigs are on. As long as, uh, now I have access to True Sight. Switch my my uh, Orpheus rigs that way uh, I get that bonus damage at all times. Visibility back. Not sure why that my turret is shooting at shacks. I have no clue. Okay, now we gotta step in this buff. Fire our tether. Get most of our energy back. While I'm waiting, uh Super to get back. Just going to be swapping off and on the lucky pants uh, throughout the whole entire time. Now that I have lucky pants on, I'm just going to go ahead and switch back to my RPS. So it's a constant swapping all the time. Whenever I have my super, uh, I pop my tether, it weakens them, it suppresses them out of their abilities. Therefore, I can go on up with a clean kill. Whenever I throw in my grenade, my suppressor grenade, it weakens them. And then I could just do a uh, clean up with a guillotine, because that has chain reaction and this stabilizing rounds. So I'm going to pop my tether right here. Hopefully get a grenade kill on the process. Okay, so whenever you fire your uh, tether, you guys, you get 50% of your super back. So while I'm waiting for my super to get it back, I'm just gonna chill right here, claiming this objective. And, and if you want that bonus, uh, Damage, all you have to do is swap your weapons. That, that's it. That's all you have to do. The boss is over here. So I'm going to weaken him. 
procking my, my stuff. Blinded from the back, so we're just gonna come over here. We're gonna get our stuff back. Always want to make sure that you're charged with the light, the armor charge going on. on. backed himself in the corner okay so now now that I have my super ready to go I switch back to Orpheus by the boom by the bang it's always good to troll uh, LFG uh, players this is the last word onslaught troll <laughs> listening to you and the light Right here, upgrade uh, buddy, please. And I don't really have any special armor mods, but it's always so good to have kinetic loader times three. That way, when you reload, um, when you get a kill, you can reload pretty fast. Okay. So I'm going to try to see if I can get that grenade and kill. If I do... If I get a grenade kill with my suppressor grenade, it's going to activate uh, volatile rounds to my void weapons. And when I, and when I get a, a couple of kills, it's going to activate chain reaction. Because I disabled the eyes and rounds. So now that I have two side activated. Okay. Yeah, I just activate my super. See if we can get, okay. Trying to get most of our super back. Okay, he's done. Going for the kill. Suppressor grenade always stuns the overload guys. Yeah. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting for my super, I switched to my weapon, which is, allows me to have uh, bonus damage. Okay.
Just some while I'm waiting, okay? So now I, I have to wait a little bit uh, before I can get my super back, but that, that's alright. Really not worried about it. As long as I'm picking up the armor charge, like I said once again guys, I am not running no resistant mods. I feel it's useless in an activity like this. It's just my preference. The whole point of getting an armor charge is increasing in that, uh, that damage in your ability regen. If you have an armor charge uh, times six, you could definitely uh, do a lot of damage. I mean, because you're always rocking armor charge. Therefore, you're increasing your, your damage, you know? So I have my out of luck coming pretty soon. Basically, whenever you see out of luck uh, coming up, you know you did your uh, bonus damage correctly. Like I said, if you're anybody out there that wants to learn how to run lucky pants, just swap your weapons, okay? As soon as you swap back the last word, you'll see illegally mod at holster come up. When that goes away, you'll see out of luck. Uh, for 90 seconds. Uh. Trying to see where all these guys are at. Oh shit, the, the overload. I didn't even see that the overload was right there. <laughs> That's alright though. Any other time I don't die, that little freaking guy teleported on me and killed me. That's the first time I died. I think I'm doing pretty good with the last word. Not sure why that guy's hiding behind shacks, but we'll kill him. So, last word troll. Definitely. Onslaught. End of the season coming near. Let's see if we can uh, proc a uh, grenade kill. We didn't really proc it. The only way to proc uh, um, volatile rounds, well, I gotta say you gotta do something like this. A grenade kill, baby cakes. Little dude is trying to get behind me. Okay. Now that I have my super active, we're going to switch back to Orpheus. Come on. Come on. I always have true sight active, so like I said, the only way to acti activate true sight is suppressing them, weakening them, or making them volatile upon a kill. And when you do that, you activate true sight, which you actually you can see it through your walls and stuff like that. Plus, uh, you go invis. <laughs> I love it. I love what last word. Last word's pretty amazing. So I activated uh, True Sight. It's always good to activate your site. Always good. OK. 
Okay, like I said, we're constantly flown in that, that armor charge. Oh, I did not know he is going to pop his tether. That's all right, though. So we're just going to make sure that we have our Ovarius rig on. And we, we, we get 50% of our super back. Whenever I have three armor charges or more, and I go to finish somebody, uh... I get to get in on over shell for uh, five seconds. Is that the little overload again? Getting out of the way of a super back. Make sure your uh, Orpheus rigs is back, ready to go. Right now we're looking for ads. Tether right there because they're pushing uh, right side. See if we can get that grenade kill. See if we can get that snare bomb kill. So now that I'm waiting, we're going to switch back to. Uh, uh, lucky pants. It's a always constant switch. J just until uh, I, I get my super back. Do I have Fanta Wisdom? Fanta Wisdom? What? What is that? Hold on. Not sure why it came up on my screen. Okay, there we go. Fanta Wisdom. What is that? Fanta Wisdom. What? Why does that sound familiar? Okay, now we got a super back. So basically, you fire your tether, suppress them, you weaken them. You let your super come back on your Orpheus rig. Once when you burn your super, you switch uh, to freaking um, uh, Lucky Pants and uh, you swap your weapons and then you gain that uh, instant damage, that bonus damage. Come right here, fire your tether, throw a grenade, pick up the Serality right away, get your super back. Okay, now that we have our super, we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, I get a kill because I activated a true sight. Plus he has weakened. Now make sure I got the lucky pants on for bonus damage. Swap, swap to our weapon. Weaken him. Get our snare bomb back. See, we're always activating true sight, no matter what. To always get the troll of the LFG helmet mod when you dodge. Near enemies, uh, you get super energy. Oh, yeah? 
I never tried that. Oh snap. He's right there. So now we're gonna get that bonus damage. Uh, the luck is gonna pop up any time now. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into it. Uh, also, another thing too, is that I don't really need two kinetic surges, therefore, because I'm always procking uh, my lucky pants, so therefore I could do something like maybe put on a recuperation mod, that way every time I, I pick up an orb, not only that, I'm not getting in a bonus damage, armor charge, but I'm also getting surges, plus I'm getting bonus at damage from my surges and lucky pants plus I'm also picking up an orb therefore I'm getting my health back so yeah that actually works out really good and then I could just add a, like uh, bring that to a seven for a resistance I I, I can be a tier uh, tier uh, seven for uh, my resistance and then uh, like I said guys I'm not wearing no uh, resistance mods at all because I I mean, Onslaught, I mean, it, it could be hard, but if you have a really great build, uh, you don't, you really shouldn't have to worry about it, you know? Whether, even with your, with a good team, you know, as long as you watch your corners, have a great build, and have a good time, and, uh, every, everything should, uh, work, work out good, you know? Okay, I'm just gonna pop my tether right here. Make sure I got my Warfist rigs on, that way I can get most of my uh, super back. I'm gonna throw in my grenade, see if we can get that grenade kill. Okay, now that we're, we're waiting for a super, switch back to Lucky. Activate uh, Stylish. Getting that invisibility. Now I can just pick up some orbs. Dodge. Get my melee ability back. I have my super. We switch back to Orpheus. Spam our, uh, our abilities. Okay, we're gonna get some of our super back. So, what do we do, guys? This is what we do. Get 50% of our super back, so we're still lucky. Pick up these orbs. Like I said, we're always getting in that extra damage. Not bad though.
Make sure Lucky Pants is on. Good deal, good deal. Little dude was hiding behind shacks. How dare you? Okay, switch him back to uh, Orpheus. Last word in PvE? Hell yeah! Everybody knows how I am. You want to bring a crowd in life? Do something unexpected in life. That's how you draw crowds. Do something that no one's ever did before, you know? Attract, baby. Attract. Do the unthinkable. Do the impossible. That's how you attract. I'm not sure what, what weapon I'm going to run next. Almost did 50 waves. Pretty easy. I would do Legend and Anonymous, but it's hard to find teams. So I'm just chilling and on a regular uh, onslaught. Huh. Where are they? Well, be sneaky right here. A little snare right there. Make sure, uh, okay. Easy peasy. Always make sure, making sure you grab that uh, armor charge. See if we can get uh Okay. And we proc and volatile around. Start with our weapons. Go in there with the kill.
Not bad, not bad. Okay, always make sure whenever you super, whenever you have your super, always make sure that you have Orpheus rig. Whenever you don't have your Orpheus rig, like I said, just use the Lucky Pants. And for the bonus damage, all you have to do is switch out your uh, weapons really quick. Switch back to last word. Wait, do I have my... Okay, so basically what you do is you swap. For a couple of seconds, swap back. Now you're going to activate. Now you're going to uh, get that bonus damage. Out of luck, it's going to pop up for 90 seconds. But I'm not going to use it because I already got my super, so I'm just here to pop my super. Okay. Blind. See if we can get a kill going on. Okay, we activated it uh, stylish. See, so now since I already have my super proc, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, Lucky Pants. Okay, we're going to weaken him. Okay. Guess I can go collect this. Oh, we got an ogre. So I'm not really going to use my, uh, my super unless I have to. Okay, looks like the ads are coming in. Oh damn, he smoked me. That's weird that he, he can smoke you. Oh my god, he's worse than a wizard. Not bad, not bad. Last word for the win.
Last word to roll. 1 through 50. Onslaught. With LFG. Not bad. Not bad. Gotta go. Gotta go. Uh, well, I guess I could give these guys some points, I guess. Let's see what my results were. 550 kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you know what's crazy is? I was using last word. And I kept up in kills with these guys. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. G-Mob, the one and only. Last word, Onslaught, Wave 